Hey guys, I'm going to do a video today on the Nikon wireless mobile adapter. Uh, I heard about this and decided to get one. So I have a Microsoft Surface. So on my computer, I don't have a built-in SD card slot. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit more annoying to try to transfer pictures from my Nikon camera. And I have the Nikon uh, D3200 here. And I really like this camera. So I learned about this item. There's several options of what you can do. Obviously, you, just, you can do the, um, you know, the standard pull your SD card out and pop it into a computer. Not a great option for me, being that I don't have an SD card reader. Um, another option you have is to, they sell SD cards that have Wi-Fi on them. So I read, looked into that and thought that was kind of interesting also, but you know, you you um, you know, if you want to use a different SD card or a different size or want to have backups, then that kind of renders that useless. So, I thought this was the next best thing. So, I wanted to open it up and do a review of it. I got this um, new, but with an open package on eBay, and it you have to get the one that's specifically for your model. Um, and so, the WU-1A works very well and is compatible with the. Uh, Nikon D3200. So let's open this up and see what we got. Okay, so I opened the packaging and here you have the unit itself. And it's got this little um, adapter right here. I'm going to try to plug it into the side of the camera. And this is a little carrying case for it too. I'm not sure whether or not I'll use it, but um, if you're not using it, you can put it in this little case here. Uh, and I guess it goes in like that. Uh, no, maybe like this. Yep, that's it. So it can go in there and put it somewhere. It also, in the packaging here, comes with a little rope, which I think I'm more likely to use. So you can hang this rope here onto the side of the camera so that it won't, you know, onto here so that you're less likely to lose it. And I think from my perspective, that's probably what I'm gonna use, okay? So the next thing you wanna do is essentially plug it in. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, you're gonna use a, um, you're gonna use the app on your phone to do that. So I'm gonna come back in a moment and show you how that works. But first what we're gonna do is look over here and uh, it has a mic, has an AV out, HDMI, and then what it says, GPS. So I'm pretty sure it's the AV out button. Um, open this little guy up again. It's definitely not a one-hander. All right, so I'll pop this out here. And then I believe it goes right in this guy here. Right in there. That's it. And as I understand, it operates off of the camera battery, so you'd have to turn on your camera in order to get power to it. And as you can see right there, there it goes. All right. Okay, and then it says in the instructions that you're going to go to um, Nikon IMGLIB.com slash MANDL slash WMAU. And I just did a quick search on my phone for that, and there it is. So I'm going to touch on that. And it says wireless mobile utility. I'm going to install that item right there on my phone. Accept. All right, so I'm reading through this as I as I go through. I'm reading through instructions, and it seems to me, and I could be wrong, so someone feel feel free to comment in the comment section or tell me otherwise. But it seems to me that it may only be available for Android, so it's all right by me because that's what I have. Uh, I'm not going to read all. There we go. Take that. So there's my utility, um, and then from what I understand, then is. Um, on my smartphone, I got to open my Wi-Fi settings and select the WPS button. So I'm going to do that, Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi Direct in the case of my phone, 
and your phone is currently visible. And then once I do that, I'm going to press the WPS button on this device here that's right on the side of my camera now. And so that's the only button that's on there here at the bottom of this right here, if you can see it. I'm going to press and hold that for five seconds, it says. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Now the light's flashing red and red and bl and green, and uh, so I think that's good. And my phone is saying no, um, no compatible devices. I'm gonna try it again. More. There we go. That's where I went wrong. So not that, you got to hit WPS push button, that's what I'm going to click. And now I actually see a line, progress bar line coming across the bottom of the phone there. WPS connected, Nikon, there it is. So it established a Wi-Fi connection through my Wi-Fi. Uh, actually it establishes its own Wi-Fi as I understand so now I have a Wi-Fi connection just between my phone and my camera alright so now I'm gonna go into the app and there it is and what's cool about this from what I've read is that you can not just not only so you can use this as a remote shutter as well so I'm gonna put on my display here Cannot start live view under current settings or under current conditions. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, so I'm gonna do take a photo. Cannot start live view. Interesting. Alright, so I I don't care whether it's a live view or not. I just want to take a picture. view photos, pictures on camera, and processing. So it's downloading 180, wow, that's pretty fast. Downloading information from the camera for 180 um, items, so pictures, videos, wherever it might be. And that's pretty quick in real time. And 180, 100% done. And there's all my pictures and videos. That's pretty, pretty quick, pretty amazing. So I like this. Uh, here's the most recent picture I just took. And it's not actually downloaded. I think it's just telling me what's on the camera right now. So I'm going to download this to my phone just so you can see how fast it would download. Um, download the current picture. I'm going to hit download. Do I want an original, recommended size, or VGA? Um, I'm going to go with original. And OK. Downloading that picture. And I think this is going to make it a lot more simple. Failed to download files. Camera disconnected. Um, pictures on smart device. Hmm. Well, I guess there's a few little glitches I'm gonna have to work out here, but you get the idea. It's going quick. It's analyzing what's on the camera pretty darn quick, um, and it's gonna allow me to transfer that to the the camera, uh, you know, to my phone from the camera. So I think this is a great solution. One of the other things you can do is if you have a tablet, you can use it to kind of view your pictures, you know, as you're taking them. It looks like you can use the app as well as a shutter, which is nice. Um, just kind of take a picture from your phone, um, set up your camera, you know, maybe a live view as well. I'll kind of get into playing around with it a little bit more, but that was a quick video to just kind of show you what this thing can do. So hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, give a comment down below if you have any other questions. And thanks for watching my video.